Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Welcome to day two of your daily vitamin. My name is Rachel Comstock and I am a senior executive with Jamberry and I am thrilled to be part of this Power Jam, Power Jam training with all of you um, as well as being able to bring you today's daily vitamin. So um, today, Today's daily vitamin is um, from John, John Maxwell. Some of you may have heard about him and his leadership books. He's um, an expert in the field. He's been teaching on leadership for 25 plus years. I, I personally read several of his books and really like what he has to say. But today is um, an excerpt from his book, um, or an article, I'm not sure. Five steps to clear away clutter and achieve your dream. We all want to achieve our dreams, don't we? So number one is believe in your ability to succeed. You must believe you can succeed if you are to succeed. So that's something you need to think about. Do you really believe that you could succeed with Jamberry? Do you feel that it, you have what it takes to be a success? The next one, get rid of your pride. People full of themselves usually don't have much room left over for a life-changing dream. Um, what is something that you have pride in? So for me, just being honest and real with you here, when I started with Jamberry, um, things in my life started to change some. I was very busy with my business. And up until then, I had been a stay-at-home mom exclusively with several odds and ends jobs here and there. But I was very organized, very neat, very clean. Um, my house was. And I was realizing, wow, some of, <laughs> some of my expectations of myself, something that I took pride in, um, as soon as the weather started to get cold, I would change all my kids' clothes over. Some of that stuff was kind of slacking a little bit. So... Um, I I had to realize life might be different now. I may not have, I may not, my pride wasn't going to be in my organization skills in my house anymore or what I was doing or what I used to do. I had to have pride in the hard work that I was putting out for this business. And then I couldn't be afraid to ask for help as well. My husband had to start helping some with dinner and help maybe if I was running a party at night um, helping by putting the kids to bed. That was something that I had always done. That's something I'm not going to give up completely, but it was really okay for him to do that one or two nights a week if necessary. Number three, cultivate constructive discontent. Discontent is the driving force that makes people search for more. Complacency never brings success. Um, this is not discontent in your life. I mean, obviously, we are beautiful, strong women with beautiful families, some of us, fantastic jobs, if that's a full-time thing that you do. But are you totally content with the way that your life is going? For me, I was not content with struggling to pay the bills the way that we were. I didn't feel content in that. And I didn't want to be complacent and think, oh, this is the best that we'll ever be. So that was a driving force behind that. And that goes along with number four. Don't accept what is without considering what could be. What it was was that sometimes we had to choose between gas and groceries. It was really tough. Did I want to accept that? No. Did I want to have to... Um, go if my children had a birthday party to go to to go go to goodwill and hope that i could find an unused unopened toy or the clearance racks um different places not that there's anything wrong with that i still shop that way but that was the only way i could buy a birthday present for a friend um i wasn't content with that and i didn't accept that that's all that there could be there could be more and then number five Balance creativity with character. Truly successful people have enough creativity to think it out and enough character to try it out. What is it that you need to do to, um, to be a success, to actually try this out? You have to be creative, whether it's putting dinner in the crock pot in the morning, knowing that you're going to have a party, you know, right 
during the time, you know, that you need to be making dinner or working different hours than other people. You need to find what works for you and be creative and then actually try it until it works. So anyway, there is a lot more that could be said about those five topics, but I hope that that was a little something for you today, something to, to mull on and to think through for yourselves. Have a happy Tuesday. Talk to you soon.